welcome to our channel my name is nikita from the isp solution in today's video i'm going to explain how we can create absence certification so let's move on to the application where we are going to see how to create the certification here go to the my client group and scroll down and click on the show more option search for the absences here where we can find the absence certification click on it for existing ones, search the search by the name or absence record update here. So this is how we can create the absence certification. Let's create the new certification just set the effective start date okay so we cannot change the effective start date but it lost, uh, lost the previous data. So here under the basic detail, you have um, classification here. You have two options, the documentation and entitlement. Uh, the documentation related to our workers, is, it tracks the uh, information relate, related to the worker's absence and uh, entitlement update payment percentage for qualifications plan. So uh, here I select the documentation, then select the legislation. Here, just give the name. So just select the absence uh, record update rule here you have uh, two options two option the authorization and the update late notice waiver status so when we select the update authorization status uh, worker this rule if a worker must complete an action item to receive entitlement for example you can mandate workers to submit certain medical reports and other document to continue to receive entitlement for the absence period and uh, second if uh, we select this one rules to define define the action to take depending on the workers notify their managers about their absences okay so here i select this then status is active and then next is a um, creation when you create an absence certification you must configure uh, the certification requirement rules to determine when the certification requirement take effects uh, use uh, one of uh, the rules to determine when the certification requirement can can take effect so here i select the on demand and here i select the absence record value as a true okay then next is our passes of due date uh, when the certification requirement is passed its due date so what we can do we can set the captures date in here we can set the set value as a false. Okay, so next is the confirmation. Uh, 
uh, when HR is specialist to evaluate the action item corresponding to the certification requirement and marks it's complete. So what we can do, we can set the entry required. And here, if you have reason, certified is valid, here select and the absence record set as value true. Okay, the last is expiration. Here, you can uh, select the capture date and you also select here the calculated date. You can provide the uh, references here, absence start date, uh, when the absence started and also condition started when the condition started for the expiration date. Uh, so here we can see the absence start absence uh, condition started we can took here and after expire three calendar days in here we can set as a true. The last is a void you want entry required you can set here as an entry required like the certification is not valid or okay so i set here as a not applicable then click on the save option if there is an error so it's pop up so there is a no error so we just simply save and close this so let's search. If you want to edit this, just click on it. And here you can see the edit option and then click on the update option for the editing. So this is how we can create the absence certification. And we add this absence certification uh, to the absence type. So when we create absence type, I'll show you how to add the absence certification under the absence type. So this is all about uh, today's video. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching the video.